Brothers Ward and Jeff Burton put their hometown of South Boston, Virginia on the NASCAR map nearly a quarter century ago with their respective careers in the Cup Series. Jeff has stayed in the sport now as a commentator for NBC. Ward has forged a different path, both figuratively and literally. This is, uh, this is coyote poop. It's probably a little deer bones or rabbit or something right there. Ward Burton knows so his it, stuff. Burn it, it's going to promote all kind of seed bank that's already in the soil. Standing amidst some of the more than 9,000 acres his Wildlife Foundation owns in Halifax County. But it's still areas for cover and nesting. He is totally at home. Burton and his foundation use this land to help promote conservation and to teach other landowners and forestry students why protecting natural land and resources is so important. Each individual property, however big or however small it owns, has got its own voice. And, you know, you're giving that land a voice. His foundation has planted up to two million trees in Southside Virginia each year and has examples of how diversity in habitats benefits all kinds of wildlife species and can protect entire ecosystems. We got two different type of forestry. We got uh, Roundup Ready alfalfa on the corner. We got some clover right here. And, and maybe got... get the next generation interested in the environment at the same time. Get your kids outside. Give them the opportunity to have fun like my generation did. Get them off the video game and the phone. Get them connected to the outdoors. It's going to be Ward Burton driving his Dodge to victory lane. It may not be exactly where you'd expect to find a former Daytona 500 champion. The 2002 Daytona 500 champion Ward Burton. But Burton feels his career ended unceremoniously when he was still in his prime. I had been loyal to a particular organization. That same loyalty wasn't repaid. But he readily admits much of what he does today would not be possible if his racing career had never happened. And to him, what he's doing now is far more important. It's really my life to be passionate about something that I feel like at the end of the day is going to make more, than a, more of a difference than a NASCAR career or something like this did. This, this is a lifetime endeavor. It's One for which he is not being paid. Burton's foundation also works with the military and their army compatible use buffer. And this is the line. Managing land around bases like Fort Pickett in Blackstone and making sure the surrounding land isn't developed to the point where the base cannot properly train their soldiers and pilots. They need black skies at nighttime to train uh, they need areas that's not going to be a lot of encroachment when they fly low. Those same helicopter pilots are the same ones that come for national disasters like hurricanes or flooding and all the things that we're experiencing now. So they're, they're there for us as well. This is the kind of work that might go somewhat unnoticed, especially with today's focus on social media. Getting ready to get on my LS tractor and look what I came across. That's where the snake videos come in. This one is a little bit tamer than the last one. Well, I thought it would. <laughs> I don't really have a fascination with snakes, you know, owls. And Burton has developed a following on Twitter and gained that. recognition for his foundation and its efforts with his snake charming tactics. I tried to give him a climb a tree a minute ago. But that are not always so successful, but something he's been working on since grade school. I had a black snake in the backyard. It was about six foot long. Well, one day, I was bored. I don't know why. I took it in the house where well, everybody scattered. And I'm looking around like, what the hell, what, what, what's going on? So nobody taught me that you're supposed to be petrified of a little uh, creature that doesn't have legs. <laughs> he didn't get the message back then, but he's carrying it out now. The foundation's message is to conserve America's land and wildlife through land stewardship. They're all connected. While educating everyone about the importance of all our natural resources. We have to protect our natural resources because if we don't, we won't survive. I'm not an environmentalist, but I'm certainly a conservationist. We all play a role in this.
Because of COVID restrictions, Burton and his staff haven't been able to do as many in-person seminars with students and farmers. His son Jeb is carrying on his NASCAR legacy and recently secured his first full-time ride in the Xfinity series. You can find a link to Burton's foundation inside this story on our website to learn more or to donate. And if you would like to nominate someone to be profiled, email us at beyondtheroster at WTVR.com.